that another huge unknown that we have going into Sunday right now is the future career of Dolph Ziggler. Now, this hit me out of nowhere, okay? I did not expect, I saw, you know, the, the weeks leading up to this, Dolph Ziggler in his backstage pr uh, uh, promos and uh, even in the ring talking about clawing and fighting and, and, and coming up short. I did not expect it to lead to something where he would announce that he would put his career on the line just to get another crack at The Miz and his Intercontinental title. Now, has The Miz used every underhanded tactic, including his wife and hairspray in the book, to get his, to retain his championship? Yes. But is he still champion? Yes. And Miz makes a great point. When you look at the numbers, it says Miz defeated Dolph Ziggler. It says Miz was Intercontinental Champion from this time to this time. It says Miz did this and Miz did this and Miz did this. And do what did Dolph Ziggler do? He lost. So uh, I am uh, my heart is completely invested in Dolph Ziggler. I do not want to see him walk away from the ring ever. He is he is he's a tried and true like purity of what it means to be a, a, a pro wrestler. Uh, and he, he walks the walk every single day, and to, to watch him walk away would be heartbreaking for me to see. What do you What do you feel like between Dolph Ziggler and the Miz right now? It seems like all these losses have really stacked up against Ziggler. Um, I was just trying to rack my brain for the last time Ziggler won a televised pay per view match. I'm not counting the win against Corbin at Payback, which was on the kickoff show, and I believe. It was Night of Champions 2015, so it's been well over a year since Dolph Ziggler has won a match on pay-per-view. And we're talking about The Miz here. Like you said, when, it, when everyone counts him out, he comes out on top. Whether it's via nefarious means or what have you, he's beaten Darren Young, he's beaten Zack Ryder, he's beaten Cesaro, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, everybody, Apollo Crews, to retain that Intercontinental Championship. Dolph Ziggler is no different, but... For 10 plus years, this guy has been here. And a lot like with Bray Wyatt, the win-loss record really isn't on his side. But when it matters most on Sunday, it could be. And he could walk out a five-time Intercontinental Champion. So it's been a very, probably my favorite thing going in WWE right now to watch what, you know, the animosity unfold between these two. And I'm really looking forward to seeing it culminate on Sunday. Now, Ziggler's had a lot of struggle race recently, right? Say Ziggler walks out of no mercy as the new Intercontinental Champion. What's next? That's he, exactly it. He, he's, he's scratched and clawed for this opportunity, a third opportunity to Miz. try and beat The Miz. Finally beats him. Let's say he does. Well, well now what? Is The Miz just going to turn right around and ask for his rematch? Are we going to see this continue? Is it going to be a fourth match? And can Ziggler beat out The Miz in a fourth match of The Miz's own construction and design. I just don't know what it means for Dolph Ziggler if, if he's ready to put his career on the line for this one opportunity. Is he really thinking about the next step? Is he really thinking about, okay, so when I do win, because you got to go into it with that kind of attitude, I am going to win this match, right? If you do win, what does that mean for him as a champion? What is his champion prerogative? You know, is he going to go out there and try to be the fighting intercontinental champion that Daniel Bryan attempted to be? Is he going to go out there and try and carry that 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 flag and and basically do with what John Cena did to the U.S. title and make it an open challenge literally every time he steps in that ring for that belt? Is he going to be that hardcore of a fighting intercontinental champion, travel the world, and really go against complete unknown competitors and put that belt on the line. That's what I want to see Dolph Ziggler do. That's the world-class international talent that Dolph Ziggler is. He can go anywhere in the world and put on a five-star match if he puts his heart into it. If he's scratching and clawing, he looks like a loser. He doesn't deserve to look like that. He absolutely doesn't. He has all of the focus, experience, and strength to pull out a a decisive victory over The Miz, hands down, one arm tied behind his back any day of the week. But The Miz has Maurice by his side. The Miz is also no slouch himself. He has only stepped up his game, and it has only become more rabid focus since re-signing his contract to stay on SmackDown Live, negotiating that after the fallout with Daniel Bryan. What do you think about the role that Maurice might play in this? She's played a role in the past two matches. You said yourself, both at Backlash and on the SmackDown rematch a few weeks back using the hairspray, ensuring that Ziggler walks out not the Intercontinental Champion. I mean, Maurice has played a factor in pretty much every title defense that Miz has had up to this point. 
And I love what you said there because really Ziggler's only goal is to not lose. And if he doesn't lose, where does he go from here? So like you said, maybe if they do a fourth and another match, a fourth match, if he loses that, is his career over then? Like, if he loses the belt, is he... We're back to square one. So at least say what you will about The Miz and his overall motives, but he wants to be famous. He wants to be the guy. He wants to be the world champion. He wants to be the IC. He wants to be everything. Every little bit of gold candy that he can put around his arm, that's what he wants. Exactly. I mean, you can question that all you want, or at least how he gets it, but Ziggler doesn't really have that same motivation. He hasn't had it in a long time. The only motivation he has right now is to not lose. And I mean, obviously, when you're more desperate, that's when you're more hungry, that's when you're more dangerous. But in Ziggler's case, and that's why it might work in his favor on Sunday if he wins back the championship, but beyond that, what else does he want to achieve? I don't even think he wants to be IC champion. I just think he just does not want to, he doesn't want to lose again. Because like right. you said, he looks like a loser. He is a well, loser. Well, then why not go out and, you know, if, if, if say he does win, why not go out and put your career on the line every time then? If that's, that's going to be your motivation. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Beat me and I lose, and I'm out, and I'm gone. And that, Shades if, of Ric Flair. If that is his, that that would build a legacy for Dolph Ziggler beyond anyone in one quick move. You beat The Miz, and you put your career on the line every time you step into that ring, and you do those impassioned speeches that he gives in the ring so very well. You know, maybe a little too well, maybe a little too much emotion. But when your career's on the line, you get to have that much emotion. So if you do that every single time you step in that ring, and you say, you beat me, you beat me fair and square. No underhandedness, no nothing. You beat me one, two, three, I leave. That's honorable. That is an honorable Intercontinental Champion that we haven't seen in some time. That's the type of Intercontinental Champion that Daniel Bryan wanted to be. That's for that's for certain. He wanted to go up against real competition and talent. Instead, he went up against Roman Reigns. Anyway. <laughs>